Salk neuroscientist Margarita Behrens has spent many hours working in a lab where mouse brain diagrams are taped to the wall. They represent five years of research into the composition of the mouse brain. We have a very, very good atlas of the mouse brain, but we don't have a very, very good atlas of the human brain. And that's where the National Institutes of Health's Brain Initiative comes in. The NIH has awarded Salk, UC San Diego, and two other universities a $126 million grant to create an atlas of the human brain. Salk's share of the funding is $77 million. It's the biggest grant in the Institute's history. The director of the newly created research center is Salk biologist and professor Joe Ecker. He explains the center's goal. You know, to try to understand what are the differences in those cell types in the different layers of the cortex, for example, of your brain where you have executive functions or motor functions, et cetera. And so it's a really a kind of a sampling process at this stage to try to understand, you know, to build, to build maps, basically, of the information within those cells. He hopes this information may lead to gene therapies that can target only the cell populations where the treatment is needed. How will researchers study the brain? Ecker reaches for something on the top of his desk. Actually, I have my um, my coffee cup here sitting on a, a what would be a slice of a brain. This is just a, 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 an image of a brain. The research will rely on people who donate their brains to science, and the brains will be cut into slices. Barron says brains that are harvested quickly from cadavers can still function for the benefit of research. The person is dead. The cells are not. Hmm? The cells keep functioning for a while. You can keep that uh, tissue alive. After five years of research, Ecker hopes we will know more about treating brain disorders like Alzheimer's disease and autism. What we're counting on is that we'll have significant information in five years about cell types to derive the kind of information that will help geneticists say, oh, okay, uh, those genetic variants lie in these regions of the genome that are controlling gene expression in this part of the brain and in these cell types, and that that will be valuable information. For the Brain Initiative, Salk will study 30 human brains. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.